So now we're going to shift to something a little bit different now. We're going to have a live Q&A discussion panel, but this time we're going to talk about the HashiCorp certifications. And for that live Q&A panel, we are going to be joined by newly appointed HashiCorp ambassadors for 2020, Brian Crawson and Ned Balavank. Thank you very much for joining us. And with that, I'm going to hand over to Domi to kick us off with this discussion. Thank you. And I also wanted to point out that our very own DevOps Rob has been assigned and appointed as a DevOps ambassador. So all three of you, congratulations on that one. Thanks. So let's just kick us off um, right away. Um, could you tell me a bit more about the value of HashiCorp certification? Why should you pursue it? And I would like to ask that to Brian first. Absolutely. So um, thank you for, for hosting this. Um, yeah, so the value, I mean, is um, you know that HashiCorp sort of HashiCorp products um, in general are really becoming um, you know kind of a staple in the majority of enterprises today. So uh, many enterprises are starting to um, focus a lot of their efforts around you know, using Terraform to deploy their applications and infrastructure, especially when we're talking about moving to public cloud, um, along with you know using things like console to connect services. Uh, and then using Vault to secure those services as well. So as these products, you know, are really ingrained in the process of enterprises today, um, you know, it's becoming more and more, um, more and more critical that you know enterprise um, administrators and, and engineers, you know, really understand these products. Um, and by you know taking certifications, you know, that allows potential employers and employees to prove that they understand the technologies. Yeah, amazing. Ned, what about you? Uh, I would just add on top of that is, for me, certifications have often been a way to learn a particular product because it kind of gives me a guideline on what's important about that product and a roadmap for learning it. So when I'm approaching a new piece of technology, if there's a certification out there, that can really help me learn and dive into the product in a way that is going to be beneficial to me. So I think it's it's not only making yourself more employable, but just finding a way to learn the product in a way that makes sense. Yeah, agreed. I've uh, I found the same. Um, so on to the next question. Could I think uh, Brian touched on that a little bit, but what exams are available right now and what do they look like? Sure, right, I'll, I'll take on? that one. Oh, okay. Ned. <laughs> so uh, there are two certifications currently available. There's the Terraform Certified Associate and the Vault Certified Associate. Both of the exams are online only, and really that's the only option right now anyway. <laughs> and they are a multiple choice style exam, and they're really targeted at the associate level. So you're expected to have a beginner level of knowledge or associate level of knowledge with the product. You're not expected to be an expert and have deployed this uh, in production across thousands of nodes or anything like that. Uh, they're really going for that associate level first and then building on top of that certification for something at more maybe the professional level. Great, great. Uh, amazing. Well, Rob, do we have any questions coming in for the for the gentlemen of the panel? Not at the moment, no, but I, I will encourage everyone, if you have any questions, please do ask them just below me on the platform and I will do my best to get Brian or Ned to answer them live on air for you. So please do get involved in the conversation. There's a lot of value um, as being explained with the HashiCorp certification. So if you're curious, oh, and just as I've said that, one's come in. <laughs> so it says, do you plan to offer different levels of certification, example, beyond associate level, which is a great question. Um, I'll give that one to Brian, seeing as Ned spoke last. <clears throat> sure, um, thanks. So yeah, while Ned nor I, you know, work directly for HashiCorp or the certification team, uh, I've had discussions, you know, with some of the team that I think the future, um, you know, offerings may may look like, you know, associate and then move, maybe move up to advanced and maybe, maybe professional or, or some level of that. Um, but, you know, again, I think that's you know, completely up to the certification team um, at HashiCorp. But I have heard, you know, rumblings of, of something else um, coming into play. Um, the advanced certifications, if that's what they decide to call them, um, I've heard is going to be more like 
at, on the VMware type, um, when you go to like the VCAP, where it's going to be more of a, a live um, environment where you go in and actually make changes to environment instead of just answering, you know, kind of multiple choice questions. So again, um, you know, that that's just what I've heard kind of rumblings, you know, from, from HashiCorp employees, um, things may change. So take that with a grain of salt here. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. That's, those are our leaks there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so these questions are, um, they're like London buses, you know, like you can't get one and all of a sudden three or four of them show up, right? So we have more questions. <laughs> so the second one we have is when will we see more advanced, certif oh, oh yeah, here we go. When will we see more advanced certifications for Vault and Terraform, which I think you've kind of answered that one there in your last um, response, Brian. So we'll move on to the next one is, will the exams get also later a hands-on version, which they will, or will they stay in multiple choice? Again, I think you touched on that, but I don't know if you, if you want to elaborate a bit more and what you think it might be. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I will say is, you know, on the associate uh, tests right now, you know, especially for vaults, there are, I wouldn't say necessarily say hands-on, meaning like you're in an environment and making changes, but, you know, on the vault exam, you know, there are multiple choice, multiple select, and kind of a, a fill in the answer, right? So it's asking like what a specific command is or something like that. And it's it's literally a text box and you would just type in the command there. So again, not necessarily like an environment, but um, you know, you get some of that experience, I guess you have to understand like what the commands are, uh, you know, within in, in the associate um, exam. I didn't have any personally on the Terraform exam like that. Most of mine were, you know, multiple choice or multiple select. Multiple select. Amazing. Thank you very much, Brian. And we have one final question, which is, are there any books in the works for exam prep? Uh, so I'll give that one to Ned. Uh, so I don't know. Am I allowed to plug myself here? <laughs> so, I, mean, I, I did write uh, a not? guide with uh with Aiden Ermey and it's it's available on Lean Pub if you just search Terraform certified. So that is available. It's not like an official guide from HashiCorp. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there, but it is something that uh Aiden and I compiled and we're both pretty knowledgeable about Terraform. So I think that's one option for you. I will also I really want to plug the learn track that's available on HashiCorp's website. They have just put together a fantastic set of learning activities and a great study guide on there. So if you wanna know what are the objectives for the exam, those are really, really well laid out and they're true to the questions. There's not a whole lot of gotch, there's no gotchas, mm -hmm. I should say, <laughs> that the objectives really map to the things you need to know. And then the study guide and the learning activities take you through the process of doing those things so that's a great starting point. And then, of course, there's some guides out there. And I, I believe, Brian, you have uh, some material as well if someone's trying to prepare for either the Vault or the Terraform certification, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So I have um, two online training courses, like specifically for Vault, um, that I know a lot of people have used to successfully pass the Vault exam, um, along with practice questions as well. So uh, the idea behind those was not obviously like, you know, to, to just go memorize those things, right? The, the idea was like to go challenge you and make sure you understand all the aspects of the topics that are gonna be covered during the exam. And so you can figure out, you know, areas where you're weak and kind of focus on those as well. Um, I will say from a book perspective, I know that there is an existing, there's a HashiCorp employee right now writing more of an, an intro to Vault book right now. Um, and then I am personally also uh, co-authoring a, a much larger book, um, is called running HashiCorp Vault in production right now with a, a HashiCorp employee right now, but uh, that's going to be that's still to be determined. We're working on that, and uh, I don't I'm not sure when that's going to come out. We're expecting that to be pretty big. So, uh, but yeah, tons of resources out there. I'll, you know, I'll echo what Ned said in regards to the Learn Track. Very good. Um, you know, that's what I used to study for the Terraform exam. Um, I'm much stronger in Vault and Console than I am in Terraform, but um, so I focus <laughs> on the Learn Track. And you know, again, as Ned said, it's it's perfectly laid out. If you understand all the material on the learn track, then you'll be you know, you'll be set for the exam. Right, and I, I would just Thank add on top much. of that, there is no replacement for keyboard time. So yeah. really, you know, go through the exercises, but then just you know try things out. Fortunately, you know, Vault and Terraform they're both open source and free, and you can spin up resources without spending any money. So get that keyboard time in, and really just try different things out. 
try to break things and then fix things. And that will really help you learn the product much more than, you know, reading a book or watching a video is going to help you. Absolutely. Definitely have to agree with that there. Um, so we have more buses, aka questions that have come through. Um, <laughs> so uh, the next one is, do you have any timeline when the Nomad Associate will be expected? Um, so let's give that one to Ned. Sure. So like Brian said, we don't work for HashiCorp. So uh, we interact with the teams that are working on this. But I believe that the current priority, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the current priority is to do a console exam next, a console certification exam, and then Nomad will be the, the fourth in that series. Um, so I think that is the priority they're going for. I'm not sure how far things are along in the pipeline, but I would expect to see the console certification and exam come out prior to the Nomad. <clears throat> Agreed. So if you go to the, uh, I think it's hashicorp.com slash certification, you can actually see, so that's kind of like your main site where you would go for information on HashiCorp certifications. Uh, and you can see that they have the console uh, exam. They kind of have the objectives laid out um, and it, you know, clears it coming soon, right? But they don't have anything yet for, uh, for Nomad yet. So yeah, I expect that to come uh, directly after uh, console. Thank you very much. All right, you heard it first. Watch your space when it comes to Nomad. <laughs> um, so we have another question, uh, which I'll throw to Brian, which is, will associate level certification be required in order to get higher levels? Um, that I'm not sure of. Again, yeah, I don't want to continue echoing it. it that's completely up to the, the certification team. Um, I imagine it will be considering that the majority of the uh, vendors, manufacturers who um, you create these certification tests, they usually generate, um, will require like the lower level certification before you can move up, um, similar to like AWS. So I think AWS may have changed theirs, but you used to have to have the associate and then move up to, you know, the professional level. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I assume it will, but again, that's, that's up to Lisa and the certification team. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a lots more questions, but I'm going to ask one more, then I'm going to throw it back to Domi because I think she has a question about the costs. Um, so the question I have is, how do you recommend preparing for the existing exams? So I think you've kind of touched on this before, but maybe add a bit more context. So we'll give that one to Ned. Sure. I mean, I would recommend starting with looking at the exam objectives. That's going to be the most important piece is understanding what am I actually going to be tested on. And the exam obje objectives are broken into high level objectives and then sub objectives or enabling objectives. And that's really useful to understand, okay, at a high level, how strong am I in this particular high level objective? And then look at the sub objectives and go, okay, I don't really know much about uh, Terraform modules or something. So I need to delve more into the world of Terraform modules. So if you already have some level of experience, that's a good like checklist. Okay, I know these things. So I'm, I'm kind of weak on this other thing. I know when I was studying for Vault, I didn't know the transit secret engine very well. And that seemed to be an important component. So I was like, Ooh, I better, you know, bulk up on that, get some keyboard time. So that would be my first stop is that objective list. And then beyond that, the learn site uh, is an absolute invaluable resource and getting keyboard time in uh, to learn whatever you think your weak points are when it comes to the product. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much. Agreed. Uh, I'll, I'll add on that real quick that the, the, le yeah, the learn site, uh, HashiCorp does a phenomenal job. Actually, I don't know of any other vendor who does this, but if you go to the learn site, they have all the objectives broken out. And they give you the links to the the actual material like uh, on their documentation. So I mean, it's it's super super simple. Uh, follow that study guide. Follow the links. Understand, um, you know, all the material on those links. And again, I think you'll be fine with with the exam. <laughs> I mean, that's just another that's great it. example that HashiCorp cares about workflows, right? <laughs> um, I have indeed one more question. Um, how much does it cost? In terms of certifications, I think this one's pretty inexpensive. It's $70.50 US. I'm not sure what that converts everywhere else. But uh, when I saw the price, I was like, oh, wow, that is that is not very expensive when I know how much some other exams have cost in the past. So for me, that was a, another high point of this certification program. Yeah. 
Amazing. So now I'm not sure if you saw that earlier, but I would like to take a selfie with you <laughs> before. Thank you. So look at the screen and smile. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. And um, yeah, we'll uh, be on to the next uh, on to the next one.